Today I've come to Barglass Glen in the Isle of Man, which is a classic spot for photographers to come in autumn because there's a wonderful covering of trees here that produce really strong autumnal colours. And I think we're starting to get into the juicy bit of autumn because I'm seeing a lot of those colours now. So that's quite a promising sign. Um, what also makes this glen particularly good for photography is it's got a range of streams that run through the glen. And what's caught my attention today is the fact that for the last 48 hours we've had an absolute torrent of rain. It's been absolutely non-stop. And what that has created is, if you see behind me, this would usually be a bit of a trickle of a stream, but it's absolutely raging today. That waterfall there is about three to four times the size that it usually would be. So I'm about 100 meters away from my car and I've already found a shot. This waterfall is way more interesting than it usually would be. This is actually a bit of a classic shot for photographers here, but photographers tend to take a picture of the waterfall there, but also, I don't know if you can see in the background, there's an old ruined building there. So the classic composition here is to get the waterfall with a building, but I'm not a fan of that composition at all. I think the building, as nice as it is, is not good for a photo. It's quite boring, it's quite flat, it's not interesting. I actually think the waterfall today can hold the image by itself due to the sheer size of it. So I don't know if you can see behind me, I've set up my camera there. I don't want to get too close to the water because it's going to overpower the mic, but I am shooting upstream and simply just framing the waterfall itself. And I think it's not a bad image. So that's quite a promising start. So for this image of the waterfall, I took it at about one second and that gives me an element of movement in the water, but also retains an element of detail. So that should work pretty well, I think. Uh, I also shot at about F10 to give me good depth of field and about ISO 100. And I also popped on my circular polarizer to take the glare off some of these rocks. And that has turned out quite nicely. But ultimately that image could have been taken at any time of year. It doesn't communicate autumn. To me maybe that's just me but I don't think it does so I'm gonna have to have a bit more of a look down the Glen and see if I can find any compositions that really communicate the seasonal tone and I think the key to that is finding leaves that have those browns those yellows and those oranges in that is gonna be the key you can hear me uh, I've got a lot closer to the waterfall photography is a funny old thing isn't it I was literally just about to leave this area and for some reason another composition caught my eye and it's absolutely superior to the first composition in my opinion and I don't know how I didn't see it before it just goes to show that a subject matter if you really spend time with it you can really unlock compositions which could very easily be missed if you try to rush it. So you can see I've got my camera just behind me and I am actually in the river. <laughs> uh, and I have got a lot closer to the waterfall and I am now kind of shooting up against this torrent of water and it's producing a really, really interesting foreground that's dominated by the waterfall and then you've got the trees in the backdrop. But what's really, really interesting and it's a really nice touch and it kind of fits in with what I was saying before about looking for those little touches of autumn in your shots. If you look, it may be quite difficult, but just on this rock here, um, where the, at the side of the waterfall, there's actually, it's pasted with leaves that are stuck to the actual side of the rocks and I'm putting those um, anchored in the bottom left of my shot and it's kind of adding that little twist of autumn that I think was missing from the other image and for me this shot is absolutely superior to the other one so I'm absolutely chuffed that I've managed to get this and I really can't believe that I nearly walked away from it this image I'm pretty much using exactly the same settings again using the circular polarizer to take the glare off these rocks and shooting at about 30 mil and I think that's worked quite nice I have put some bracketing on as well so I'm shooting an exposure about two stops lower and the reason for that is you can see just here the highlights are really burning out through the trees so I'm gonna try and actually blend two exposures together to, to try and prevent that and I think that should stop any kind of horrible distractions in the top of the image where I don't want them to be. I want my eyes focused 
on the waterfall. Just walked a little bit further downstream and I believe I have found the composition that I was looking for that's got all of those autumn ingredients that I was looking for. So you can see my camera is just set up here on this rock here and what's really caught my eye is if you look just behind the camera you can see that there's this big rock to the side of the river and it's plastered in absolutely gorgeous yellow orange leaves and it's just, it just makes for a fantastic foreground. And just to the side of it, you've got this beautiful little waterfall as well. So I think the combination of those leaves on this rock with that waterfall really makes for a really strong foreground. But this shot has got so much more going for it. Behind you've got the leading line of the river leading you back through the image. But also really interestingly, if you look just up there, you can see these uh, lovely golden kind of colours in the leaves and they're backlit by the sun which is creating a really really nice effect and the contrast of that with the sort of dark air of the image here works really really nice for the background as well so I'm really quite impressed by this composition and I feel quite optimistic about it. Settings wise I am shooting at f8 ISO 160 at 1.3 seconds to give that silky quality to the water while still retaining an element of detail. I've also got my wide angle lens on shooting at 18 mil because the scene demands it. It needs that wide angle perspective. And I'm probably also gonna have to focus stack this because if you look down here, these leaves on this rock are very close to my camera. So it's not gonna be possible to get them sharp in one image. So I'm probably looking at a two to three image focus stack in order to get this image fully sharp. My mood has been slightly deflated. Uh, my tripod has just broke. So if we go in a little bit closer, you can see here, this nut here ties and tightens off the ball head on the tripod. That has sheared off completely. So the tripod is fully locked in um, on the ball head. So basically it's completely useless. I don't think that is easily fixable at all, which is really, really disappointing because this tripod, the Mi Photo Glowtrot, I've had this for just under a year and I was really, really quite happy with it. So happy, in fact, that I was tempted to do a vlog giving it a good review. But I've changed my tune on that entirely. That is disappointing. I, for a product of this supposed quality, it shouldn't be breaking like that so soon. Um, so that that is really disappointing. And, and also it, it kind of jeopardizes the rest of today's shoot because now, this tripod's basically useless. I do have a secondary tripod with me, but it's not as good as this tripod. So yeah, I think the rest of today's shoot is gonna be a little bit of a struggle. I've found another composition and in true James Brew fashion, it's in a precarious location. I am sat on a boulder in the middle of a raging torrent. You can see my camera set up just there and I'm still using the broken tripod. The, the ball head is locked in the upright position. So by finally adjusting the legs, I've managed to actually get this composition with it. So that's good. Uh, this composition, I think, uh, has got an awful lot of potential. You can see the foreground just down here. These boulders with the water kind of swirling around them have an awful lot of interest, so that works well. But in the backdrop, 
you've got this wall over here which kind of naturally frames the shot on the right hand side again you've got those backlit leaves with their autumn hues that are very very effective and um yeah it, it's quite a dark well shaded part of the forest here so i think it, it really kind of highlights that that contrast and really makes the colors punch that little bit more apologies for the background noise it's uh, is really really noisy here with this raging water but it's really difficult to shoot vlogs like this without breaking that immersion and i want to immerse you in my experience and that means taking you into the thick of the action uh in terms of settings for this oh i'm getting a wet ass here let's push back a little bit um in terms of settings i am shooting at one second again uh, f9 200 iso and at about 24 mil and that's given a nice effect and i'm gonna focus stack this image again because the boulders in the foreground are very very close to my camera so i'm probably going to go two to three shots focus stack I've now retreated back to the woods and I'm going to call it a day. I am going to get too annoyed by the broken tripod and it's really going to constrain what I'm capable of achieving. Plus, I've also got the wettest ass of all time. So I think it's definitely time to call it a day. Overall, I'm really happy with the shots that I managed to capture. I don't think the colours are yet at their very best here, but the unusually high river levels made for quite interesting compositions that I wouldn't usually be able to capture here. I'd be really interested to hear your thoughts though on what you believe were the strongest images and why. As always, um, any comments, likes or subscribes are very much, very much appreciated. No doubt I will be back to this beautiful spot again sometime this autumn because it's really, really nice and it's just on my doorstep. I hope you've enjoyed today's little vlog and I will see you all soon. Goodbye.